Hi everyone, I'm very excited to be able to show you this past month of work on St. Krill, the airport in Serbegal. The cinematics you just saw was a close look at the apron area that I finally completed detailing. You also heard a new song made by me, which is called Remember Us. So this episode has a ton of footage. Um, actually, what you see right now is the surrounding north area of St. Krill which consists uh, of farmlands and small villages. You can see the north runways in the far distance as well. The surrounding areas was actually a side product. I had been working too long with a concrete environment and wanted some variation. But it also turned out to be even more fun and take longer than expected as usual. I'm very pleased with the result however, and it's a lot easier to get great footage on the airport itself uh, with a background like this. Except the farmlands and the villages, I also detailed the highways around the airport and also the tunnel entrances beneath the runways. I will not show the process of doing the surroundings and tunnels however. If you want to see that, you can take a look at Sergal episode 5, where I show how I make this type of environment, and episode 6, where I show how I make the highways look like this. But now I will, for about 3 minutes, show you how I made the apron area. After that, more cinematics will follow. So I started with outlining the plane stands. The lines are made of procedural objects that I've used an off-white texture of my own and applied to the objects that, that I've reshaped into these thin lines. I know there's supposed to be a red line in the middle of these white ones, but I came up with a met method to do that after I did all this work, so now it's frankly not worth uh, redoing as it would take loads of more time. As you might have seen Google Earth uh, flash by quite a few times, I use it extensively to get the right measures and look of the plane stands. You have heard me talk about it before, but people keep asking me about this all the time, so I will uh, repeat it again. Procedural objects does not count towards any limit in the game, and that's one of the reasons why I use it so much, otherwise I would have reached the prop limit ages ago. The red lines that you see right now is what's going to be the no parking zones that you can see by most plane stands uh, in an airport. And here I am making the tree colored taxiways. There wasn't any blue line asset that I could find, so I made a simple blue texture and applied it to the procedural objects, uh, much like I did with the plane stands. I also used PO to make the ramp letters and numbers by remaking these assets into more simple shapes and into a much more industrial look. The last step is placing down the arrows, um, an asset made by Vasimir, and give every single ramp a code uh, consisting of a letter followed by a number. This design of the taxiways and ramps is taken directly from Charlegal Airport and I really like the look of it. The animated glass elevators made by Ronex was a real lifesaver when it came to detailing the gates. Before it was released on the workshop I really couldn't find anything that would give the right look. I made the elevator into a procedural object to make this bigger steel and glass structure. Then I placed the elevator inside the structure to get the nice animation uh, of elevators moving up and down. Other details I added to the ramps was these fuel hatches for the hydrogen fuel trucks. At most airports an underground piping system transports yet A fuel from the fuel facility storage tanks to the aircraft. This piping called a transit fuel line supplies the fuel to either underground hydrants near the aircraft, like in my case, or to refuel the loading stations where trucks load up and then refuel the aircraft. Another detail I added was these in-ground power units that are used to surprise, <laughs> give the aircraft power when it's parked on the ramp. I think mobile power units are more commonly used, but I thought this in-ground system was a bit more fun so I went with uh, that instead. I hope you are enjoying this episode so far, if so please consider give a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it really helps keeping uh, this channel going. 
In a few seconds the time lapse will end and you will see much more of the airport from many different perspectives and uh, distances, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you next time.